The year was 1969. Humanity stood at the precipice of achieving a dream. The dream? Setting foot on the moon. Central to this grand endeavor were the Apollo missions. Among these, Apollo 9 was crucial. Launched on March 3rd, it marked a significant step for the Apollo program. This mission tested vital systems for lunar voyages. Apollo 9 was the first manned flight of the lunar module. Its success was a key milestone for future missions. This is the story of Apollo 9, a mission that brought humanity closer to the moon. The Apollo program, born out of the Cold War space race, showcased American ingenuity and ambition. In 1961, President Kennedy set the ambitious goal of landing a man on the moon and returning him safely to Earth. Apollo 9 was pivotal in achieving this vision. It served as a crucial rehearsal in Earth orbit for the lunar landing. The mission demonstrated essential skills like navigation, docking, and lunar module operation. The success of Apollo 9 was vital for the success of future lunar expeditions. The Apollo 9 mission was the result of years of meticulous planning and preparation. Every aspect was carefully examined and countless scenarios were simulated. This mission introduced several innovations not seen in earlier missions. It was the first manned mission to include the lunar module. The lunar module, though delicate in appearance, was an engineering marvel. The mission's success depended on the flawless integration of the lunar module. Engineers and technicians worked relentlessly, pushing the boundaries of possibility. The Apollo 9 mission was tasked with ambitious objectives, each a critical step towards landing humans on the moon. It aimed to demonstrate the lunar module's functions in space. This included undocking, independent flight, and redocking, proving the lunar module's viability as a transportation system. Testing life support systems was another key objective. The mission showcased a blend of technological innovation and human courage. Its success laid the groundwork for the moon landing and inspired future space exploration. Section 3. Apollo 9 bridging the gap. The Apollo 9 mission was a critical bridge between early test flights and the lunar landing missions. Apollo 7 validated the command and service modules in Earth orbit, while Apollo 8 orbited the moon. Apollo 9 demonstrated the lunar module's readiness for its crucial role. The world watched as the crew of Apollo 9 embarked on their significant mission. The tension was palpable, the weight of expectation immense. The astronauts maintained a calm focus, fully aware of the risks. Apollo 9 epitomized human ambition, pushing the boundaries of exploration. The mission marked a pivotal moment, daring to dream of walking on another celestial body. Section 1. The Men Behind the Mission Every space mission is a testament to human collaboration, a symphony of countless minds working in unison to achieve a common goal. But at the heart of this intricate tapestry of human endeavor lie the astronauts, the individuals who bravely strap themselves atop a controlled explosion and venture into the unforgiving void of space. Apollo 9 was no different. Its success rested on the shoulders of three remarkable individuals, Commander James McDivitt, Command Module Pilot David Scott and Lunar Module Pilot Russell Schweikart. These were not just pilots, they were engineers, test pilots and astronauts, each handpicked for their unique skills and experience. They had spent countless hours training together, forging a bond of trust and camaraderie. Their mission was clear to validate the Lunar Module, a critical component of the Lunar Landing Program. The weight of expectation was immense, the eyes of the world were upon them, watching their every move. But amidst the pressure, these three men remained focused, their resolve unwavering. They understood the magnitude of their task and were determined to succeed. Section 2. 
a commander's steadfast hand. At the helm of Apollo 9 was Commander James McDivitt, a veteran astronaut known for his cool head and determination. His experience and leadership were crucial for navigating the complexities of this mission. McDivitt's primary responsibility was the overall command, making pivotal decisions and ensuring the mission's success. His role demanded unwavering focus, exceptional judgment, and calm under pressure. McDivitt exuded a quiet confidence that inspired his crew and reassured a watchful world. Joining McDivitt were two highly skilled astronauts, each bringing unique expertise. David Scott, a veteran from Gemini 8, brought invaluable engineering skills. Lunar Module pilot Russell Schweikart, though a rookie, excelled in technical knowledge. He trained rigorously in simulators, mastering the Lunar Module's systems. Together, Scott and Schweikart created a dynamic team, blending experience with innovation. The success of Apollo 9 hinged on the Lunar Module, Spider, performing intricate maneuvers, proving its readiness for lunar missions. A critical task was the docking procedure, a delicate ballet of technology and human skill. Picture two spacecraft, dwarfed by the vastness of space, slowly converging, controlled by the steady hands of astronauts. One wrong move could spell disaster, but the crew executed with precision, guided by rigorous training. The docking mechanism was an engineering marvel, designed to endure the rigors of spaceflight. Lights and indicators guided the pilots, providing real-time feedback on alignment and speed. The slightest adjustment could mean the difference between success and failure. McDivitt, Scott, and Schweikart worked in perfect harmony, relaying commands and confirming readings. The tension in mission control was palpable as the world watched this delicate operation in the void. With the lunar module docked to the command module, the stage was set for its first manned flight in space. This was a pivotal moment, a chance for Spider to demonstrate its capabilities as a lunar ferry. The separation from the command module was executed flawlessly. Through the triangular windows, they observed Earth, a vibrant blue and white sphere. The lunar module showcased its readiness for a lunar landing. Earth through new eyes. Apollo 9 tested the lunar module and provided unique scientific insights. While orbiting Earth, astronauts captured stunning images. These images highlighted Earth's beauty and vulnerability. Earth appeared as a unified whole beyond political borders a vibrant tapestry of oceans, continents, and clouds. The images evoked a sense of awe and interconnectedness. They were valuable for studying weather patterns and geology. Data collected enhanced our knowledge of Earth's systems. Astronauts experienced a profound shift in perspective. They returned with a deeper appreciation for our planet. The mission significantly enriched our understanding of Earth. Section 4. The Human Equation Spacecraft and Sustenance The Apollo 9 mission underscored the critical role of human resilience in space exploration. Confined within their spacecraft for 10 days, the astronauts encountered unique physical and psychological challenges. Overcoming these challenges was vital to the mission's success. Imagine living for days in a space no larger than a small car, with every movement restricted. Privacy was a luxury they could not afford, their lives intertwined in this metal cocoon hurtling through space. The lack of gravity posed challenges, affecting their bodily functions and sleep patterns. It even altered their sense of taste. Food, often dehydrated or in paste form, lacked the appeal of earthly meals. Waste disposal became a complex procedure in space. Yet, the astronauts persevered, buoyed by camaraderie, the importance of their mission, and the breathtaking views outside their windows. They conducted experiments, monitored systems, and communicated with mission control, all while contending with the constant hum of machinery. Their resilience demonstrated that even in extreme environments, humans can not only survive,
but thrive. The success of Apollo 9 was a triumph for both technology and the human spirit. Section 1. Life Support A delicate balance in the void. The vastness of space is unforgiving, offering no air to breathe, no protection from temperature extremes, and no resources. For astronauts, survival hinges on reliable life support systems designed to mimic Earth's essential elements within a spacecraft. Apollo 9 served as a crucial testing ground for these systems, particularly those for the lunar module. Every breath of oxygen, every sip of water, every temperature fluctuation was meticulously monitored. Imagine the responsibility of the engineers, knowing that the astronauts' lives depended on the flawless performance of their systems. The pressure was immense, yet they rose to the challenge, their dedication evident in every successful breath taken. The life support systems on Apollo 9 were marvels of engineering, miniaturized versions of Earth's systems. They scrubbed carbon dioxide, replenished oxygen, regulated temperature, and managed waste within the spacecraft. The success of these systems during Apollo 9 validated the technology for future lunar missions. This success enabled humans to live and work on another celestial body. Section 2. Oxygen's Embrace. From Earth to Space and Back. Oxygen is the most critical element for human survival in space. On Earth, we take it for granted, but in space, it becomes a precious resource. Apollo 9 tested systems to ensure a constant supply of breathable air for astronauts. The command and lunar modules had oxygen tanks, but these alone were insufficient. The spacecraft used a combination of stored oxygen and a system that extracted oxygen from exhaled breath. This rebreather system removed carbon dioxide and replenished oxygen, ensuring safe breathing. Imagine breathing recycled air, knowing every breath contains molecules from your crewmate's lungs. This closed-loop system was crucial for long-duration spaceflight, reducing the need for oxygen from Earth. Apollo 9 demonstrated the viability of this life support system. The success of this system enabled longer and more ambitious space missions. It allowed humans to venture further from Earth, confident in a reliable oxygen supply. Section 3. Waste Not, Want Not. The Challenges of Space Sanitation. Waste management is a crucial aspect of space travel. On Earth, we dispose of waste without a second thought. But in a spacecraft, even basic bodily functions require careful planning. The Apollo 9 mission provided valuable insights into space sanitation. Imagine relieving oneself in zero gravity, with no familiar porcelain throne. Astronauts used a system of plastic bags and adhesive pads a necessary adaptation to spaceflight. These bags were sealed and stored for disposal upon return to Earth. Urine collection involved a hose and a vacuum system, requiring accuracy and coordination. The astronauts adapted to these procedures with humor and professionalism. The lessons learned about waste management were indispensable. They underscored the importance of designing systems that were both functional and comfortable for astronauts. Even in space, basic human needs must be met to ensure the crew's well-being. Section 4. The Psychology of Confinement. Thriving Amidst Limitations. The psychological toll of prolonged confinement and isolation in space is significant. Apollo 9 provided unique insights into the psychological demands of spaceflight. Imagine the constant close proximity of your crewmates, the lack of privacy, and the stress of a demanding mission. The astronauts demonstrated remarkable resilience and adaptability. Their focus, humor, and camaraderie were a testament to their mental fortitude. Regular communication with family, planned mealtimes, and leisure activities helped maintain their well-being. The success of Apollo 9 underscored the importance of addressing the psychological aspects of space travel. 
Human beings, not just machines, are at the heart of every space mission. Section 1. Anecdotes from Orbit. Discovering Apollo 9's Hidden Gems. Beyond the technical milestones, the Apollo 9 mission was rich with moments of human ingenuity, humor, and awe. These stories offer a peek into the astronauts' personalities and the challenges they faced. During a lunar module test flight, a minor issue with the waste management system occurred. Managing bodily fluids in zero gravity proved to be a unique challenge. The incident, handled with professionalism, later became a source of amusement on Earth. In another instance, the crew conducted an impromptu photography experiment. They attempted to capture an image of Russell Schweikart's house from space. The resulting image was a blurry dot, underscoring their desire to stay connected with Earth. One of the most memorable anecdotes involves a feather. During a broadcast, Commander James McDivitt demonstrated a physics principle. He released a hammer and a feather simultaneously. In the vacuum of space, both objects fell at the same rate, validating Galileo's theory. This demonstration encapsulated the essence of scientific curiosity and the wonder of space exploration. These anecdotes add a humanizing touch to the narrative of space exploration. They remind us that astronauts are individuals with unique quirks and senses of humor. These stories deepen our understanding of the Apollo 9 mission and its enduring legacy. Apollo 9 returned to Earth on March 13, 1969 splashing down in the Atlantic Ocean after 10 days in space. The mission validated the lunar module's capabilities for future lunar landings. Apollo 9's contributions were pivotal in advancing space exploration. It showcased the remarkable achievements of human ingenuity and perseverance. The mission ignited a passion for space in a new generation of scientists and dreamers. Apollo 9 remains a landmark in the history of space exploration.